Welcome back guys, it's Homeboy Bringing another video on Clash of Wizards Hope you're well As you'll see on screen, just thought I'd start the video Here, in the Arena 9 on 1,794 trophies So certainly good player, so I want to say a big shout out to all my subscribers And hope you're well guys And as you should probably see from the thumbnail I thought I would bring a bit of gameplay using the Phoenix one of the cards which certainly helps a lot certainly moving up the arenas so as I say I thought I'd bring a few more gameplay cards to help the lower players certainly understand how the cards work and hopefully help you push up the leaderboards so Hopefully if you enjoyed the video, certainly give it a like at the end. So as you see, with the Phoenix card, what you do get is, it's allowed to respawn. So you try and keep the Phoenix card alive, certainly can do a lot of damage. So you certainly can play things like the Shaman card. Next to the Phoenix. And what I'm doing here is I've just sent the Phoenix over. As you see the player's just using the Lenara. I'm not going to try and protect the Phoenix. I'm just going to let the actual mana down the bottom just build up slightly. And then we can certainly do some damage ourselves with our own Lenara. Firing back. As you see the player was using the Freeze Potion. So what I'm going to do is just play the pikeman down the left hand side. And I'm just saving up now. Just to allow me to place the phoenix back down again. So as I say it's one of the cards. Certainly when you're moving up to the arenas once you gain the phoenix card. It certainly becomes a great advantage. As I see player was just trying to use the... Poison Potion. And also by using the Freeze alongside with the Troll Siege. So it certainly was good strategy. And what we're looking at doing here is just breaking down the towers. I'm just going to place the Rogue. And just place the pikeman back onto the tower. As we know the player was using the freeze potion and the poison. So we're certainly going to look into playing that. So here we go. We're just playing the phoenix card now. Again with the magic barrier. Just to protect the troops. Which again. The more troops that you can get underneath the barrier guys. It certainly help. So that should certainly probably give us a. A strong victory. We're just going to use the Lenara. Just to hopefully tidy things up. And as I say, guys, certainly a great victory. So I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And as I say, certainly give it a thumbs up. I'm going to give a shout out to some new subscribers. In Philopo 009, Chrome Diversion, and Valentina Kids. And thank you very much to Jew Silver for all your comments, guys, in the last video. Since we managed to get on to 279 trophies at the moment, so we're just gonna open a few chests, see if we can build any more. We use the Phoenix card and certainly play alongside with the Shaman and can certainly get some great gameplay. But as always, build the wave up, look at the cards, and you can kind of read the cards. So certainly if they're looking at air attack as you've seen in the last game, the player had the Lenara, so I had to just slightly change it. So this is my current battle deck which is a 4.1 average mana cost, but you can see I do have all the legendary cards in there, but if you don't have any of these cards, certainly add your favourite cards. But I don't really play Troll Siege that much myself, as I use the building and I use the other troops to destroy the Troll Siege, and then it allows me to have troops 
down into the arena, which I can add to to add up to a bigger wave moving forward to the other player's tower. And that's what allows us it's too much of a wave moving forward so that anything that the player lays down will kind of get destroyed and we certainly move on to the tower. So that's how you can kind of manipulate the gameplay into your favour. So, as I say guys, hope you all enjoy it. And certainly don't forget to check out the store every 24 hours this update. As you'll see, I purchased a few bombers for some coins. And I also got two shamans, I think for around 200 gems. But certainly keep checking it out, guys, each day. And also keep watching the free adverts. As you'll see, you get 50 adverts, which is 300 gems a day. Which will also help you free up the battle slots down the bottom here. So I'm just going to open one more free chest. Before we end the video and get it uploaded onto YouTube. And certainly thank you very much for all your support guys. And as always, certainly drop a comment in the comment section below. Certainly if you're in the game, if you want a shout out. And I'll certainly do it in the next video for you. So it's pretty much brings me to the end of this video guys. So as I always say, I hope you have a fantastic day. And until next time, happy clashing.